Are you ready to harness the power of online reviews? With Customer Voice, you can use real customer reviews to boost star power and drive more business. Let's take a look. Upon login, you'll be greeted with the overview page. From here, you can see how your review requests are performing over time. This dashboard tells you important information on the performance of your requests sent, including how many have been sent and the open rate. In the Customers tab, you can see a table view of all the customer contact information you've added. Plus, filter your contacts here. Upload a single customer or import a customer list. Click Import Customers and select a CSV file. Once you've uploaded a file, you can map the fields accordingly. Keep in mind, an email address is the only requirement for sending an email request and a mobile phone number is the only requirement for an SMS request. If you're ready to send a request to those new contacts, click Upload and Send to see a preview. But if you'd like to upload them to your list and send a request later, just click Upload. Also on this table, you can see when the customer was last sent a request, so you know who to target next. Now that you've uploaded customers, you can send an email request to one or to many. And if you've purchased SMS add-ons with Customer Voice, you will also be able to send an SMS review request from here. Select a single customer or many customers and click Send Review Request from the drop-down. You will be shown a preview of your request, and if you're happy with how it looks, click Send. The process is the same for an SMS request, as long as the customer's contact information includes a mobile phone number. You can use the Review Generation widget to collect first-party reviews from customers where they're already looking, your website. If they leave a four-star review or higher, the widget will invite them to share it on a public review site to help spread the word. Under the Widget tab, you can customize the background color, text color, and font so it will match your brand perfectly. Then, simply copy the widget code and paste it in the HTML of your website. In the Settings tab, you can customize all aspects of your review requests. Under Preferred Review Sites, select the sites you'd like your customers leaving reviews on. If your listing wasn't automatically found, you can copy and paste the URL here. Reorder them like this to customize the order they appear in your review request. By selecting Google Review Prioritization, customers with a Gmail account will automatically be directed to leave a review on Google, regardless of the above setting. This also includes custom domain G Suite addresses, such as dan at mybusiness.com. In the Confirmation Messages tab, you can customize the messages that will appear after a customer has left a review on my listing or the Review Generation widget. In the Templates tab, you can edit the templates for both my preferred sites and my listing type reviews. Remember, the preferred sites are controlled in the Settings tab we just reviewed. The My Listing page is a first-party review collection page. To edit the template, select Edit. Customize everything from the email subject, header image, text, buttons, and colors to suit the business. Preview your changes to ensure it is ready to send. Add new templates quickly and easily from this dropdown. If an SMS add-on was purchased, you will also see the option to add an SMS template, which again is totally customizable. Any of your saved templates can be used when you select customers to send review requests to from your customer list. Let's send an email request to a few customers using our newly customized template.
And just like that, you have sent requests to your customers.